So, okay, um, you've made a lot of progress, and some people have already moved ahead to the proving explaining part. So I thought what I would want to do is clarify for you the next stage of this investigation. And that is the, this is crooked, that is the, um, that is this stage. So I, from walking around, I'm seeing that a lot of you have convinced yourself that you're pretty sure you could make any kind of shape of a quadrilateral. You, you could describe what diagonals were needed in what position to make a quadrilateral. And how would you convince, so you, how did you convince yourself? How would you convince a friend? For example, if you went to another group, could you convince a friend, how would you do that? Because in a way, we're all sort of mathematical friends. But the last step would be, how could you actually formally prove this to a skeptic? Prove your conjecture. And here's where you're going to need to draw upon all the proving skills that you know about that you've been learning all year. So this is going to be actually the group product of your investigation. How would you prove it to a skeptic? Now, um, let's see. I didn't decide if I wanted you to write this down. Would you talk yourselves through this? And then when you're ready, when your group's at that stage. Not everyone's at the same stage yet. Um, but talk yourself through this. And, you know, I have to confess that you have made such tremendous progress on this that I was expecting that this part wouldn't come till Thursday. So I was, um, hadn't really decided what, how, what kind of product to have you do. But this is where we are going with this so that you could actually prove. I wanted to compliment Sage because one of the things he said was that you can't assume any of these lines are parallel. You can't assume anything because it's just how it looks. And so, and thank you for that, and we cannot assume, and Javier said the same thing. And so what we, we're going to want to do is, okay, we have a pretty good conjecture. Now, can we prove it? Can we prove it? It looks like it is. Can we prove that giving, with that two configuration of diagonals, we can guarantee that we're going to get that quadrilateral, and we can prove it, all right? All right, so um, let's work for maybe another, oh, 10 minutes, and then we'll clean up. The diagonals. So these two matter. And they're not at the midpoint. What, what do you say yeah. that we, we need so to So maybe it's a to prove how to make a, a regular trapezoid. I mean, no just yeah. a trapezoid. And because alternate interior angles are different sizes. For them to form different sizes. Yeah. 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 They do have to be different sizes. Of triangles. In this case, they form two isosceles triangles. But otherwise, they shouldn't in a normal hmm. It's not it's no data except everything is not the same. And that needed to work with finals. But it's not working out too well. It's, it's, it's just like a special trapeze. It's just some random shape, except the only thing is that the two of them are parallel. This and this. This and this. Yeah, a little bit. What? Because on the isosceles triangles, the two base angles are the same. Hmm. And because the vertical angles are always congruent to each other, these two um, vertical angles are the same. So the Did we already make a rule to making a consistent trapezium? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Would it be the same? It's so odd that like, somewhere between trapezoid and trapezium, it gets stuck. Yeah. <laughs> I would have thought we'd get stuck on trapezium. It seems like when I stop it, I think there'd be more rules. Maybe it's just the same rule as trapezium, except that you just have to have parallel sides. Yeah. But why is it so hard to make it with these? We tried making it, and instead we just got non we didn't got non trap swords. That could be a parallel. But how are you saying that these two are not parallel lines? What? Why can what are these two segments not be parallel? How do you how can you feel that they're not parallel? They are. Um, well, no, I just put the pillow. They look like they're going to intersect someday. Oh.
that to prove that they're parallel, you have to measure the alternate interior. Okay, you know what? Oh, little sample. Dude, don't poke it. <laughs> oh, this is a nice sausage. Yeah. Oh, you mean it's interesting. The alternate interior angles. You're gonna write your yeah. conjecture inside this, the shape? <laughs> I don't know. Look, look at the little <laughs> sound thing on the microphone. We figured it out. What's the It's we figured out why they're parallel. You measure the alternate interior. Quietly. So because you gave us this, so we assumed that we could. Yeah. Okay. We can assume that oh, we did. Assume. It works for this particular case. Well, we can do all the shapes if you, you want. Think you could do it. Yes. So the it. Oh, okay, there. I'm using that word. Um, <laughs> you measured and you found that they were true, so you're convincing it at that stage. You're here. Yeah. Right. So now. Oh darn! I really thought I convinced you. So what happened? I didn't break. So you convinced me that this particular one. But what about any transition? So if we draw all the shapes. Have we convinced you? Well, you, what your job is to do is to put that down. So you could convince it, like an ironclad explanation. All right? So all right. what if you don't have not mathematical friends if you don't mathematically get along? <laughs> how, how can you explain All right, that? so maybe it, 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 what, what depends on a mathematical yeah. friend is if he came to the same conclusion you did, then you're going to be mathematical friends. If he thinks, if they have a different idea, then it be mathematical. He always has a different idea. We're always arguing. Really? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna ask for your. I'm gonna ask you to stop in like one minute. Okay. Anyways, you wanna know what other, other conjecture I made? What? Are you like that? There's little bars on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> now they're gonna get a bunch of tapping on there. Okay. That's a conjecture. So now we have to see if it works with the other ones too. I think it will because I, I have the diagonals. All right, then prove it. <laughs> so, I'm going to make a square. Good for you. Okay. Um, I want to try it with the short one and the long one because that one looks kind of weird for me. I think we should have music play while we do this. Resource managers, I need to talk to you. Haha, that's not me. <laughs> yeah, I think the square was the easiest one to prove because I didn't know. We have to put this back together and then we have to um, staple all this. Wait, okay, so we didn't measure it like this. Which ones are parallel? This one's. <gasps> I did the one that's not parallel. Oh my gosh. Got it. I wasted paper. Nice. JK. This one's just a kite, no parallel lines. And we know it's a kite because it's a kite, and we know the, what, how do we know that these are the same length? Use a ruler. Because these yeah. two are the same ones. How do we know that? And then we have to measure it out. Oh, we can draw the circles and everything. The circles. <laughs> um, but because um, but the but um, stick but told me they were. <laughs> so let's just say it's six, and this is perfectly on three. So a square is a rhombus, but a rhombus is not a square. <laughs> Oh snap. How do we know these parallel? Because that's a 90 degree angle and it's bisected into 245. So we need to find a way. They look the same. Bada bing, bada boom. But yeah, but that's how we figured it. That's how we're supposed to prove it. Go get a protractor. There's protractors over there. I don't think we're supposed to measure it. Like, but she gave us protractors, didn't she? Go see if there's a protractor. There's. Four. Yeah. Protractor. And then yes.
and I figured it out. Okay. So, anyways. Isn't there like another way though instead of measuring it? Aren't you another way? I know you can't do uh this is Yeah, she gave us pro chapter, so we're supposed to measure it because that's how we roll, yeah. Oh. So we put uh, okay, this is a really gross shape.